I believe last time we left off, um, four of our adventurers have landed in a camp that looks like it was ransacked um, to some degree. I don't think much exploration has happened on said um, camp, but let me see if I can pull up that map for y'all. Yeah, I think we just got there. And share. Is it Camp Righteous? Camp Righteous, yes. So, the adventurers that have uh, arrived were Ayer and Crow, Sapphire, and Shio, along with Annette, who is a, a priest. Yes. Uh, a, a priest that came along <laughs> is looking for... Um, Looking for some kind of solace, some 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 reason for the visions that she had, uh, that involved the Aldani Basin, and then of course you had weed. Our favorite. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> weed. <laughs> um, let's see here. I feel like you guys should have had a long rest in the meantime, so I'm gonna make sure that that's all. Good. Cool. And, um, let's see. Still waiting for Shava. Uh, I remember. Yeah, the, bar, the bar moved forward, so it's working on it. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> Success. <laughs> it's progress is slow, but consistent. Oh. Uh -huh. Um, Ire saw that there was a small creature in a fence uh, and went to go inspect that. Um, as he was doing that, can I get a perception check from Shio, Saf, and Crow? Yes. I can try, at least. <laughs> oh. Apparently I did okay. I did not. <laughs> um, Crow, you uh, recognize, or you you start to notice a sound of kind of like a splashing uh, coming from the downriver section. And um, as you take a look, you see that there is some sort of... of canoe boat on the water and what seems like these long tenderly tentacles coming from it and just splashing about um, pulling the boat towards you. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I, where's, where's the phrase? Well, I guess the closest uh, thing I have is uh, in Shava's voice, your face is... No, in that little child's voice, <laughs> your face is wrong. And I point down the river at this uh, this hente boat. Um, so with that explanation, I will let, I will let the... Weed and Annette uh, follow your, your point, your, your gesture, um, at the very least. Um, and after a little while, you'll see that the boat is actually being pulled along by these long vines, just kind of like latching into the water and just, just like a, like a strange vegetative octopus. And at the front is a familiar face is, is Kawasha. And he is making gestures of, like, flinging these vines out into the water and pulling them back, uh, dragging the canoe. And in the back of the canoe, you see your good friends, Shava, who looks a lot better now, and uh, Verlassen as well, who's uh, holding onto oars, desperately trying to help. Uh, with, <laughs> with, that sounds uh, like something I would do. <laughs> <laughs> Um, actually, uh, for Lassen, can I get a perception check? 
Yeah, I just have to remember how to do it. I'm sorry. No problem. So long. If you click on your uh, nameplate or the Verlassen plate, and then there it is. skills, and it should be the dice icon with the. <laughs> Verlassen, you definitely think you're doing all of the work. You've been pulling. You've been pushing this boat. <laughs> Constantly, and it's all that you. Also sounds, that also sounds in character. <laughs> um, so, well done, you. <laughs> uh, let's see. And, uh,. And uh, Kawasha says, uh, uh, finally, uh, we finally caught up with you. I see that you are doing well. And, uh, oh. and, and, and Weed is, is jumping for joy, just saying, I am Weed. Clearly excited to see his, his good friend. Um... And as they pull into port, they, they allow both uh, Verlassen and Shava to jump on shore. And uh, that's where you guys are at right now. Cool. Um... So I guess as soon as they land on shore, I'm gonna be like, "Hey, everybody's here finally!" And let's head towards the temple. And I start walking towards it. <laughs> the giant statue. Is this? Uh, shit! Is this fire actually going down over here? Uh, it's more of a smoldering kind of uh situation. Not really going. Okay, so the, but there's actual like there is some smoldering here of a fire. Uh, yes. I would like to go check that out, actually. Okay, sounds good. So we've got three different situations going on here. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to find a way to get uh, Shavan Verlassen on here, and it's not working out too well. Is there a map that I'm missing? Somewhere? How's yeah. That? Oh, never mind, I see it. <laughs> oh god! I what? just, I just saw, uh, I just saw weeds in parentheses in the combat tracker. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad that you're you're having a good time with that. Seriously though, he almost died. <laughs> we. There's a couple of people that almost died that time. Yeah, no, I, I, I listened to that. That was fun. There it is. For Who's Lassen Weed? And Shava. <laughs> I am Weed! Um... <laughs> 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 <Okay. laughs> Hold on a second. I'm going to put you back down there. Um... Shio. And then I think I'll start with Ayer first, then go with Shio, then go okay. with the crow. Ayer, you came up to this pen and you see that there is a tiny, tiny bird uh, that, uh, that I believe I gave you a picture of. Yeah, it was a, you said it was an axe beak? Yes, it was an axe beak. Just a little, little reminder. Oh, a little, he's pretty. Little baby one of those. Baby one of those. Is uh, is it all just fence? So yes, it looks like it's fenced in. Um, so much so that uh, you can easily w step over it, kind of like a a doggy huh. gate. But this little bird has difficulty trying to. Trying to get out of it. Okay. 
Uh, and I kind of like kneel near and like offer it food. Um, yes, you may. Give me an animal handling check, please. Bite his fingers off. <laughs> Chop his fingers off. Oh. Um, yes. Oh. As you as you offer it some 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 little snacks, some trail mix, it um, timid at first uh, is very quick to trust you and comes over and um, partakes in your offering. Um, right. Of course, always looking up and, and double checking, kind of like you know with the sideways glance as 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 birds do, making sure that you're not doing anything. Yeah. Funky. Um, but he, he does uh, seem trusting, more trusting than you would imagine a a wild bird. Wild maybe. animal. To, yeah. Yeah. Can I use my primeval awareness to read its mood and intent? Like, is it just. Um, with, is... with your animal handling, uh, you kind of get the idea that um that this fledgling was not here originally that he must mm-hmm. have found some way to accidentally get itself caught inside oh. the fence um and and its its general mood is kind of uh frightened fearful and uh, uh was hungry for sure mm-hmm. so <clears throat> Definitely feeling a lot better now. All right. Uh, how you said it's like a doggy fence, so it's like probably what, like two feet high. Yeah, it's not very high. Um, can I like indicate? Indicate. The, 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 can I like communicate to the baby expert that I want to like just if he'll let me? You're just wanting to like pick him up and let him out? Yeah. Okay. Um, as you kind of try, as you try to, to pick him up, he almost leaps into your hands. Um, Okay. I'll just like step out over the gate. Okay. And uh and it it actually feels pretty comfortable in your arms. It's it's not it's not really struggling to try to get down or anything like that. Sweet. Shit, now I need a pet bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I guess I like I'll step out. Yep. Of the, over the gate. Mhm. And then I guess like just start walking towards uh, I guess Shio over by the foot of the temple. Okay, sounds good. And uh, and the and the ax the ax beak fledgling is kind of taking it all in, uh, and is very curious with this this horned the creature that you're walking towards. Um, he is scary looking, isn't he? <laughs> I don't know what an axe um, beak sounds like, but I assume probably a typical bird. Sounds close enough. <laughs> just a, just a chopping sound. <laughs> um, Shio, you're just walking toward the 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 foot of the this temple here, right? Yeah, I'm trying okay. to figure out what the heck this giant thing is. Um. As you get closer, you see that there's kind of like an entrance underneath and between the feet here, and uh, it's 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 dark, and uh, you see that there's cobwebs kind of draping the the entrance. And okay. uh, since I have night vision or dark vision, do I get to see farther in? Uh, yes, you can see. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Five, five. You can see farther in. You see that there are uh, a series of cobwebs draped inside here and um 
all the way at the end of the what happens is you kind of see like a, a ledge like a huge ledge um but there is some area over top so you think that the the cave kind of continues on um okay. past that um here and um as as you're as you're sitting there pondering with with your uh Dwayne the Rock Johnson kind of like look right with the the hand on the chin and the raised eyebrow <laughs> Um, <clears throat> Annette kind of comes up behind you and, he sa- and she says ah, I have not heard of that tale in quite some time I ask her to tell me what the tale is and what she knows about the temple alright and so what she does is she kind of relays to you loud enough that everybody can hear uh, <laughs> the... <laughs> if you notice, <laughs> like every tour guide ever, <laughs> and we're walking. Um, what she says is um, that the statue is actually a a it, 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 depicting a, a a myth from long ago, and uh, she says that. In the early days of the world, man stood by the banks of the river, frightened. Crocodile raised his head from the water and asked, What troubles you, cousin man? Man said, I must cross this river, but I fear to enter the water alone, because it teems with your brethren. Crocodile replied, It's true. You would not be safe. But I will carry you across the river safely on my back if you promise to return the favor. Man agreed, and Crocodile bore him safely across the water. When they reached the far bank, Man asked, How can I repay you? Crocodile replied, I wish to see the realm of humans, but I fear to go there alone because it teems with your brethren. You must carry me on your back across your realm. Man had been tricked, but a promise is a promise. So he carried the crocodile safely on his back across the entire realm of humans, a journey that lasted many years. He also swore, in his anger, that never again would men and crocodile be friends, and so it has remained to this day. Oh. That's why humans are stupid. <laughs> and uh, to those that weren't here yet, uh, last time, if you uh, look at the top right portion, por- I went Irish, <laughs> the top right portion of the... <laughs> <laughs> now it's just, now it's a pirate. The top right portion of the, the map there. Um, you can see kind of an image of a uh, crocodile on the back of of, of a... Of a man. Oh, oh, is that the t- whole temple? That's that's what the uh, the outside anyway, and then you can see kind of yeah. the top webs of the of the entryway. Oh yeah, <laughs> um, oh, yeah. there it is. So what I'm gonna do mm-hmm. is I'm gonna thank her for the the story and then try and uh, convince her to go into the temple with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will. Uh, I will come back to you on that. That convincing, okay. uh, Crow. All right, so there is this smoldering fire here. Yes, smoldering and fire. Everything else says this place looks abandoned. Correct. So I'd like to see if I can't see if there are any like tracks of someone or something that would have started this fire. All right, so. Um, it was always burning since I... the world's been turning. <laughs> Weed. Thank you for really <laughs> uh, can we? Can you give me? I can't do this. Can you give me a um, a perception? I think is what I want from you. Hold on, let me check. 
do, 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 do. perception or investigation investigation i want an investigation check oh, damn it <laughs> <laughs> nope <laughs> um this is dirt <laughs> <laughs> Could I could I have argued survival too late? Now? I I I'm gonna give you a bonus because of your 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 deduction with the other. Have him step in dog poop. <laughs> Axe beat poop. Here. Um. You. You during your investigation, you notice that there are um. Some pieces of tattered um clothing and, and and armor, something that most people would not leave on purpose, you would think. Um, and on that armor, you can see the symbol that is, or see a symbol that looks like... Uh, it looks like... Uh, a, a a hand grabbing onto a sword, um, like the 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 blade of the sword. Okay. And um, and that seems well trampled uh, into the ground, kind of like the dust is covering it. Um, the thing is, you see that there are some imprints in the ground that don't look like. Uh, that of a a normal sized humanoid. Um, it seems like some sort of creature has been stepping around in this area. Ooh, another troll. Uh. Uh. <laughs> were you in that fight? Were you in the troll fight? I can't remember if I put crow in that troll fight. Yeah, you had me in the troll, in the troll fight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these was. these footprints are definitely a lot smaller than that of the the giant troll that you were fighting. All right, in a in Shiogura ass voice, I'm gonna say, why don't he explain this better so we know what the hell is going on? And as I'm trying to make eye contact with Ayer and pointing at the ground. Hey, me. Uh, okay. Just gonna say, I'm very uh happy that that's the only thing you've taken from me so far <laughs> that was a great <laughs> sentence <laughs> there and uh, take a look too all right um i would like you to give me a uh what's what is it that what creatures are you do you specialize in or do you specialize in any particular creatures when it comes to uh Oh, for my ranger stuff, mostly just. I missed that. Beasts. Beasts. Got it. Go ahead. How do I roll? Uh, give me an an investigation as well. Awesome. Wow. Okay. All right. So, um, what you see are the tiny imprints of, of what you would say maybe somewhere in the range of eight-ish creatures, um, and, um, and you kind of start to see that there, there are tracks around here, and they, they typically kind of go from this point near this smoldering fire into the wilderness, uh, in either direction, but something that you have noticed is that there are some footsteps that walk toward the uh, statue there, the cave, and um, they seem to kind of backtrack and go back and forth between the smoldering fire in there and the smoldering fire in there quite a bit of times, quite a bit, quite some number of times. And those are the freshest 
uh, marks that you can see. Um, you would say that they probably were made within the last day or so. I'm just head cocked at ire. Ah, okay. So. <laughs> Just, just wait to see if he tells me anything about what he just realized. Um. <laughs> okay. Communication only from here on out. Yes, no, yeah. I, can't, I can't hear nothing. For our, uh, our podcast listeners. <laughs> D&D by mail. <laughs> a, I'll, I'll mail what my character does. It'll take a couple months to do anything, but... Can you imagine how tedious that would be? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. It's like you enter a dungeon, you see that there's a table and a door on the other side. What would you like to do? Tell that out to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> what is the well, table the made day, out of? <laughs> well, that that would work back in the day in, in London, England, because they had mail carriers that would deliver four or five times a day, or more. But not anymore. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. Are you back, Ira? Nope. He's still not back. Nope. It's Jin, while he's messing with that, I have a dumb question. Well, I might have a dumb answer, so let's go. Uh, can I change some spells? Uh, sure. What spells do you need to change? I wanted to change a level one, my cop comprehend language, uh, languages spell. I wanted to change that to um, uh, magic missile. Okay. And then a level two spell, uh, and my um, enlarge reduce spell. I wanted to change that to shatter. Comprehend languages, magic missile, uh, and reduce enlarge, and you want shatter. Yeah. There you go. I'll probably need the, those spells in this. But whatever. <laughs> All right. Uh, Thank you. Ire, I'll just go ahead and explain, and then you can respond as you need to. Um, basically, um, what you notice is that there are a bunch of uh, small-footed tracks. Um, from what you can tell, there's maybe 10-ish uh, sets. Uh, a lot of them tend to congregate around these smoldering uh, fire here. You see that they tend to come from the wilderness of some kind in, in either direction. Um, but the most interesting thing that you've noted is the fact that uh, there are some tracks that kind of walk toward the um, the statue and uh, kind of backtrack back toward the the smoldering fire, kind of going back and forth in a very beeline esque fashion, um, and. No, these, well, these tracks are, if they are humanoid, they would be a very small humanoid. Like, uh, the, the footprint size would be that of a, um, halfling or smaller. And you think that these tracks have been made in the last 24 hours. And I'm just kind of looking at you currently, just waiting to hear from what you've seen. The baby axe beak flutters its wings and says, Rah! <laughs> Okay. I, from my position, I'm just going to look around to see if I notice anything. Okay. 
Um, from your position, you make a cursory perception check. Please go ahead. Cursory. 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 Nah, it's fine. Probably. Cursory. Yeah. Um. With your cursory glance, uh, yes, you do not. <laughs> you do not. Um see anything terribly out of the ordinary. Um, ex- well, not out of the ordinary. Um, it does, during your, your, your surveying, you do note that um, besides the uh, tents and the kind of ransacked nature, you also see that um, there's a building that seems to have been burned out uh, kind of in your... So, hold on, let me get my bearings here. Yep, South southeasterly area, and uh, you see outhouses on either side of the temple uh, as well. Okay. Um... Can you guys hear me now? Yes. 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 Yeah. Well. Cool. All right, I did a bunch of stuff, so I'll let someone else do some stuff now. Can I walk over and do a perception check, too? Uh, next to Crow? <laughs> yep. Sure can. And what are you looking for in particular? Anything? Um, just to see if there's any other places that the tracks go. Okay. Cursory, then. <laughs> cursory, yes. A cursory check. <laughs> uh, go ahead, and you can do your perception check as well. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Ooh. Um, with the way that the tracks are laid out, you find that um, a majority of the ones going out into the wilderness, they're kind of hard to um, they're hard to distinguish if they go into any particular place. Um, but to continue um, where Iyer was seeing kind of how the tracks were going toward the statue, you see that they kind of spread out in almost a semicircle, like they're trying to keep a certain distance away from the statue. And hmm. you see kind of like a pacing of, of footprints along that way. Um, but there's definitely not, not, it doesn't seem like there's any steps that actually make it toward or into said statue. Well, yeah, let's go in there. <laughs> yeah, probably. Seems safe. My move was going to be run straight in there, actually. Uh, <laughs> do it. Do it. Let's see what happens. You certainly can do that if that is what you would like to do. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, that I'll, what... share that in... I'll share that information. Okay. I mean, tell them. Then. Sounds great. Cool. Um, Anybody else have anything queued up? Otherwise, I'm going to go back to Shio. Uh, I have been for a while now doing the thing that cats do where they like stare off into space and you can't tell if they're looking at <laughs> monster or just like completely zoning out. Uh, <laughs> man, he's probably looking into another dimension and seeing the horrors that will come to pass. Um, but then some you, uh, like weed. Um, uh, uh, I don't know, like leaf or something gets blown in the wind and catches my attention. Okay. Are you going to follow? I'm going to go up here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I'm losing interest in that leaf. I'm going to look around for any. Um, if there's anything else that's interesting in that area. Okay. In the tents. These, up in these tents. Yeah. Looking up in these tents. Okay. Cool. Uh, can you go ahead and roll a... You're looking, right? Yep. Perception check, please, for me. Perception is a number... It's a thing. I saw the shadow that dice I that can do. She was rolling. Um, 
as you're looking around, uh, you do happen to see something kind of um, uh, <laughs> swivel, uh, just like a little bit, kind of like a like like a piece of yarn being kind of pulled really quickly into one of the okay. tents. Yeah, uh, I'm following that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as you, as you go toward that tent, uh, uh, right as you, um, enter into the doorway, you kind of hear this, this kind of sizzling noise almost, um, and, uh, and what you feel is something kind of um across your foot kind of just like pull over your foot and uh as you look down you see kind of the scaly hide of a of a of a tiny snake tiny snake yeah um and you see that there are a few of those tiny snakes um <laughs> to be exact you see about six tiny snakes Six tiny snakes. Uh, I'm going to play with those tiny snakes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> your, your typical pouncing and letting it go yep. kind of levels of... Okay. All right. Sounds good. This upsets for Lawson. They are friends. I'm going to have you... Uh, um, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what <laughs> animal can handling. The snake? Can you go can I rescue the snakes from him? Uh, you certainly can try to rescue the snakes from him. Um, You're you can go. Playing. You can go over and uh, do a strength contest, if you will. <laughs> Crap. Oh. Okay, you go ahead and give me for last and give me a strength check, please. And uh, Sapphire, give me a strength check, please. Uh, Verlassen, you're able to to grab uh, Sapphire by the scruff of the neck and kind of lift him up. <laughs> Reset this. Uh, this is this is unacceptable. I'd like to first wriggle my way loose. <laughs> Can I use charm person on him? Um... <laughs> Just to get him to chill. Snakes are friends. <laughs> Who's uh, all aware of this situation? You can... <laughs> I don't think anyone is. Uh, yeah, I this, is, this, action. this is this is this uh, is. Go ahead, go ahead and try to to use your charm, person. So oh, good. <laughs> that will be a wisdom saving throw. Um. Save party conflict. I think I'm doing it right because my <laughs> when you fixed everything, it looks different. Um. So let's see here. Inter party conflict. Oh, so yeah. uh, he rolled a four against a DC of twelve. Can't wait until that wears off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that creature is now charmed. Uh, <laughs> he regards you. Uh, as a friendly acquaintance at this point in time. <laughs> and uh, the spell ends when anything harmful happens to the charmed creature. So he is charmed. For how long? <laughs> For uh, one hour. You, you just let me know when that hour is up. Or when <laughs> I certainly, certainly will. Um, I'm sorry, so, this is too funny. <laughs> so, in response to being charmed, um, 
uh, Sapphire lets out like a very low purr. You're not actually you're not sure if it's a growl or a purr, but it's a noise that you you you, you might think is is that of a of a of a feline on catnip. Do I have some string that I can just give him and distract him from the snakes? And I then... don't know. Do you have string? <laughs> I don't know if I have any items. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Let's just leave it at this. Uh, yeah, you can, you can, you can just set him down now. Probably, he's fine. I'm just gonna set him down. He's good. <laughs> he's leaving the snakes. <laughs> if you talk to him nicely, maybe he'll leave the snakes alone because he's friendly now. He's not gonna be like resisting you. <laughs> I think he was talking to his dog at that point in time. He wasn't talking. So right now. Yeah. Yeah. She came into my room and she's not. She knows better. All right, so uh, snakes are no longer being played with at this time. Um. All right. Anybody else? Does anybody else feel like these snakes are kind of fishy? That there's like six random snakes just chilling. I mean, we are. In a I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Uh, like an axe beak in a cage. Uh, I'm going to walk over to Shio and just be like, are we doing this or what? Well, uh, my, my plan was to, I'm going to persuade Annette to kind of lead us into the temple. Um... <laughs> Go ahead and, uh, well, she's going to say um, that she uh, <clears throat> clim- kindly declines your uh, <laughs> your offer. Um, she feels that these, these temples are sacred and that a person of her lowly, lowly uh, stature is not... Um, is not permitted to enter said location. Um, so I'm gonna try and persuade her to okay. go anyway because her her Come background on. knowledge of the gods and her closeness to them is probably more than anybody who would be deemed worthy by natural birth. So therefore, she is the most worthy to lead us into this adventure. Yeah. Um, go ahead and give me a persuasion check. And she is going to counter with an insight check. Um, and what she does is she pulls out a a small crystal ball, and she kind of um, waves her hand over it. And uh, you can see that her eyes glow slightly blue with this uh, with this gesture. And then she her eyes go back to normal. She secrets the the orb away, and she says, "Nothing good will come to uh, sorry. Nothing good will affect my life by me entering that." tomb and i will now more forcefully decline your offer <laughs> no means no bro um can i discreetly cast suggestion to make her walk forward into the tomb secretly uh... a subtle spell And uh Crow gets up on the steps while this is going on. <laughs> and I cast light on my shield. <clears throat> Honestly, there's no way for her to stop the suggestion, it looks like. Yes. <laughs> um so 
you suggest that she walks straight into the the tomb. And she does so. The yeah. the by herself. Yeah, she just went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Crow. Would, That's our guide. Crow would follow in. Okay. So, uh, Crow, as you uh, look in here, let's see. Uh, you see uh, Annette kind of passing through, uh, going toward the the next set of uh, cobwebs and kind of stopping suddenly, like she's okay. at at the maximum limit of of suggestion movement at this time. <laughs> I I will go up and saddle up next to her. Okay, I'll I'll follow behind. And you move straight oh, there, sure. correct? Uh, yeah. Okay. Like, like, bam, bam, bam. Alright, awesome. Oh, there it is. Alright, so Shio, can you move back for a quick second, please? Oh, sure. And same thing with you, Java. <clears throat> uh, Crow, as you walked there... Um... Give me a moment. Yeah? So, today's the day that our, our contingency stuff was due. You never talked to me all about what happened with the second. Well. <laughs> <laughs> can I move over there at this point, too, or is it... I have to wait. Sure. You can bring it down here. Um, I am... Sorry, sorry. T- too many things going on at once. Okay. Sure. Uh, well, he doesn't necessarily need to be here for this. Uh, <laughs> as he uh, walks onto that spot, um, Shio, you can kind of see that uh, Crow and Annette uh, kind of drop from view. And you kind of hear like a thud sound um, <laughs> shortly <laughs> after. Um. Okay, so I sprint up to before the, the point where they fell. Okay. Um, using my dark vision to kind of not uh, meet the same fate. Okay. So, uh, as you sprint up there, you see that there is a um uh. 10 by 10 kind of like a pitfall um, where the floor kind of collapsed and they fell um, down about 10 feet, which means that they take uh, points of bludgeoning damage. Oops. Sorry, buying a house is a bitch. All right, so what do I need to do? Uh, You fell. Oh, okay. Uh, you, as you stepped uh, close to a net, the the four by four section that you guys are standing on kind of fell into the ground there. There you go. Fell down. Fell ten feet. You took three damage. Bless your name. Okay. Um, and that's that. That's what happened so far. That's all you missed. Cool. And, uh... Annette is, uh, suitably peeved at this point in time. <laughs> um, and, uh, what she does is she comes towards the, um, the edge of the pit, climbs her way out of the pit, uh, turns to face you, uh, Shio, and slaps you across the face. <laughs> it was a critical slap, actually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you will take, 
uh, 10 points of damage from that critical slap. <laughs> okay. uh, in anger, I'm casting Hellish Rebuke. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, don't kill our guide. <laughs> Hellish Rebuke. Or do Verlassen will take over. <laughs> All right. It's um, so they must do a, a dexterity saving throw. Do, 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 do. What's your um, DC? Um, 14. 14. 14. Okay, so she failed. She will take 2d10 fire damage. <laughs> oh, um, lord. Yep. I think you, you, you killed her. Good oh. god, she's dead. <laughs> Actually, I don't think it's 3d10 because it's for every level above the first. <laughs> so it was a level 2 was, hellish rebuke. I cast everything. Yeah, I cast everything at level 2. Oh, okay. All dead. Right. Um, and with that, um, <laughs> Annette is, Ooh. Annette is downed, and she <laughs> automatically has, uh, two failed, uh, life-saving throws, in addition. I swear, if this is an escort mission. <laughs> oh you know my what? god. I'm pretty sure, right? Hold on. No, I think if you just, take she half, she's dead. dead. She's dead. Because if you take <laughs> half, if you're from zero and you take half your max HP, you then you're, you're dead. dead. Ah, okay. No, I'm I'm doing so a weird thing. Yeah. She, yep, yep, she's well, completely yeah, either way, dead. she's dead. Completely dead. Yes, you're right. Yeah, and with that, at where she stood, she... Uh, Immolates in flame, and nothing is left but ash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. God. Does anyone, like, outside... Do Shav and I see that? Um, they, let's are see. Are they inside the temple? Ayer, Can she? Uh, you don't have dark vision. Shava does. See yeah. That. I've, got, I've got light up right now. Okay, I feel like this. her immolating would light all those cobwebs on fire and stuff. Oh, uh, and damage him back again. Uh, they're not that thick of cobwebs, but in any okay. case, yes, she. So she I is... do. So I do see that. Yes, you do see that. Okay, so I'm gonna walk up next to Shio, and I'm just gonna turn to him, and I'm gonna go. That was really stupid. Tucker. Yep, I see it. All right, um, that's at second level, by the way. All right. Cool. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, <laughs> I mean, it hits. It does yep. hit. It definitely hits. Go ahead and uh, roll damage for that, please. Oh, shit, I don't know how to do that when I'm doing it at second level. With what? Um. Oh, that's how we do it. Okay. Uh, do you want me just to drop it on? Yep. Go ahead and just drop it on him. Okay. Do. I think both. <laughs> All right, next attack roll against him has advantage. <laughs> uh, so uh, with with that, uh, go ahead, Shaba. You you. <laughs> there's there's no way to avoid that or to like try and dodge that attack. No, your AC is too low, man. <laughs> yeah, I hit you from down here. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was really stupid, man. <laughs> yep. I mean, she shouldn't have slapped me. It was a reflex. Do you do anything in return? Um... I You're hurting. Take it. You're hurting hard, by the way. <laughs> That's yeah. fine. Like, I, I just kind of take it and, like, I, visibly wounded and just like, well, I mean, she shouldn't have slapped me. And then I go and <laughs> try and climb down into the hole. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, 
also, anyone outside here, uh, both Verlassen and Sapphire, you kind of hear uh, a thud followed by like a, like a flaming screech followed by <laughs> an oof, ouch, owie. Um, and, uh, and that's it. Yeah, I guess that's all you guys hear from out there. <laughs> but you do see people going inside the temple, so there's that. I'll walk to the entrance of the temple and look in, and then, yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, and from there, I you see kind of Shio um, going into the going down into a off a ledge down into a pit, and you see kind um, of. If I'm, if I'm looking down from the ledge, what do I see? Like, are there footholds on the side? Are there vines, or is it like a smooth wall? It's a uh, kind of like a. Uh, there, there's the brick in which it was made. There, there's enough that you could lower yourself down and into. And what's it. on the, what's on the bottom? Like, is it stone? Is it stone what? dirt? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna climb down in there then. Okay, sounds good. I was going to say, is there a reason why I have 30 instead of 20 damage? But yeah, she critically slapped me. Critically slapped. <sighs> Which explains my anger. Um, from That's this point in time, I'm just going to have you guys uh, roll initiative for me. 